harm reduction specialists, that's what they're called, law enforcement officers are sounding off after two separate cases over near-death child overdoses involving fentanyl. Yeah, five people have been arrested in connection with those cases. So, Simone Jameson has more. Seeing our child in a position where they've been affected because of our actions is heart-wrenching. It's astonishing and it's unfortunate. Hannah Schilling is a harm reduction specialist with the Hamilton County Department of Public Health. But beyond that, she's a mother of three and former drug user, troubled after five people were arrested in the last week in connection to child overdose cases. I think oftentimes, like when we're in situations within our home um, and we're trying to scurry about to use substances, it's really easy for us to lose sight of what's happening around us. Three people were arrested Thursday in Hamilton County after officials say a one-year-old overdosed on fentanyl in July. Then just days after, a Claremont County mother and her boyfriend were arrested after a child reportedly overdosed on fentanyl earlier this month. Officials say in both cases, the children who overdosed survived with the help of Narcan. Luckily, it's not something that's very common. It is very scary when it does happen, though. We want to do what we can to prevent the next generation from being addicted. Tom Sinan heads the Hamilton County Drug Task Force and says their work through a community coalition has led to a 16% reduction in overdose deaths from 2021 to 2022. Hopefully with some of the One Ohio money, some of the money coming down from the settlements, we'll be able to set up more systems that help children that are growing up in homes like this. It's work that both Sinan and Schilling says takes the village to get under control. Making sure that all of our supplies are above the level of a, a child's reach, you know, so at chest level for an adult, um, so maybe at a sink or at a counter where a child wouldn't be able to reach without, you know, support. Schilling advocates for parents with substance abuse issues to do everything they can to prevent their children from getting in their stash. There's some products within the home that you might be able to find that are difficult to open that have that child seal. So like medical medicine containers or Tide Pods, repurpose those. She also urges those in need to not suffer in silence and seek help. We want to make sure that you're carrying naloxone, that you have testing strips, fentanyl testing strips. If you're using substances, please go to a syringe service program in Hamilton County that's called Safe Services as an acronym for stigma-free access for everyone. And that is Simone Jameson reporting. Resources for those struggling with substance abuse can be found at the Hamilton County Public Health website.